put some respect on his name. This guy just keeps getting better and better. And why shouldn't he? He is the protagonist after all. Looks like some of the stuff I predicted last chapter have actually come to pass. I wasn't sure how he would do it, but my word has he done it. This might just go down as one of the top 5 blue lock goals so far. The king of devouring is back and I think this may be his sweetest meal yet. Before we get into this one here, can I urge you all to please like this video, subscribe to the channel and make sure you drop a comment down below. I'm so curious to see how everyone receives this chapter because for me, this was a banger. Blue Lock Chapter 257 Two Gun And picking up where we dropped off, the ball sailing through the air towards Isagi. Right in front of him we see Chopper. Is he gonna do something? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But it's coming. He already's top performance. Isagi says I'll take it from here. Now it's time to deliver my top performance. And looks like the ball goes over Chopper. He's already been taken out. Only two defenders left. Sidestep, then diagonal. Isagi jukes in between Jibril Cisse and the Michelin man and easily gets past him. That's three, yes three PXG defenders taken out in an instant. And the only one that seems to be able to catch up to him is Shido Ryusei. And for some reason, and you guys are going to have to help me out with this one in the comments. Is Shido spotting Predator's eye or is that just him in flow? I can't tell the difference because of how his pupils are normally. But if that's Predator eye, why the hell is he activating it now? Curious one. But we can't dwell on it too long because Isagi is on the move. He dashes to his right, leaving the ball behind. You gotta do better than that, Shido. Shido's baffed. He doesn't get what he's doing. What the hell's going on? That's until he sees Kunigami in the air ready to perform a Superman punch. Bro, someone needs to remind this guy this is football, not UFC. Here's a stake I owe you. Consider us even. And that's right. Kunigami actually passes the ball to Isagi. Bro, I never thought I'd ever see this day. This new Kunigami actually being unselfish. Does that mean we're gonna get our Kunigami back? Please say it so. But just like Isagi says, that's the ego I want to see. Now working off instincts, Isagi's in. And no one could have seen this coming because again, no one expected Kunigami to be willing to pass. And now Isagi's bearing down on goal. He's wide open. Oh, so he fought. Too lukewarm, says Rin as he bears down on him from behind. We've seen this scene too many times. First Barrow, then Nagi, now Rin. All of Isagi's rivals have a personal vendetta against him. They always want to stop him from scoring. Rin says, don't forget about me. And just as he says that, we get the ex effing cues me part three. Yes, Kaiser's in on it too. Just like I predicted in the last chapter. And this time it's a Raiders edition, whatever that means. So now not only does Isagi have to deal with Rin, he also has to deal with Kaiser. And Isagi is completely shocked. He's super baffled because he don't understand how these guys managed to keep up with him. A lot of the stuff that he's done so far should be unpredictable. But somehow Kaiser and Rin still managed to stick with him. And so he comes to another realization. Kaiser and Rin are only focused on him. They're focused on Isagi's movement. They ignored everything else just to make sure that they could run alongside Isagi. And that explains why they were able to react so quickly. Instead of reading the game's flow and situation, they solely focused on plays that would allow them to destroy me. That's their top performance? That's seriously effed up. So now my boy is in a little bit of a pickle. What the hell does he do now? Keep thinking, I'll reach the ball first. But in Rin's head, he wants Isagi to shoot. I'll destroy every direct shot course you come up with. Whereas Kaiser, on the other hand, he wants Isagi to trap him. As soon as you trap it, I'll steal and score. Come on man, this guy is a guy, I, I swear down, I don't think that he's been paying attention. Isagi has been on his team for how many games now? And this guy doesn't know that Isagi is a direct shot merchant. He's fully expecting him to trap it at this point, but we all know that that's not Isagi's game. So Rin's got the right idea, but Kaiser's out of step. The last time he tried to trap it, Kaiser came in for the steal and they had that twin shot, Captain Tsubasa style. But Isagi's not stupid, he's not gonna try that again with Kaiser around. And Kaiser's dumb if he thinks he will. Shoot, trap, right, left. Isagi's mind is going on overdrive. And the difficulty of the challenge has immersed him in flow as we see his eyes start sparkling. No, create a new attack. Bro, what do you mean a new attack? What is this? Everything flashes white. 
and Isagi looks like he's about to take a lefty shot. But then, my word, right here, right now. A fake with the left, he's gonna trap with his right. Got you now. Or so you thought, Kaiser. My top performance, combining both instincts and flow. He strikes the ball midair with his right foot instead. And bro, can we all just admire this panel right here? Isagi puzzle pieces are formed into two guns as we see his right gun pull the trigger. Isagi released the clip, his top performance, combining both his right direct and his left direct shot. A mid-air quick draw, Kaiser says. An ambidextrous direct, Rin says. Yeah, a two-gun volley. One of the coldest shots you'll ever witness in Blue Lock. I kid you not, this is something I never thought would be possible for Isagi. We all know that athletically he's lacking, but bro, just what has he been doing in this bye week? This guy must have been training his ass off because his physical skills, yeah, the top notch. To the point that he's got Kaiser sweating for the first time and Rin sliding into the ground trying to stop him with everything that he has. Bro, beating out these two monsters to this goal just showed a huge jumping improvement he's taken. This guy's always said that he's a striker. And bro, you're a striker. Sorry I ever doubted you, Isagi. I always had you down as a midfielder. And don't get me wrong, you'd be a quality midfielder. But yeah, you're a striker, bro. I feel like Isagi's graduated. Just like the first time we saw his lefty shot in the Ubers match, when Isagi scores first, it hits different. Now this shot here, we've seen it before, haven't we? Remember in the Manshine match, Nagi's actually the first one to do this shot, the juggling shot, where he first taps the ball up and does around the world to hit it with his right foot. Now Nagi wasn't able to score his, but Isagi was able to devour it and add it to his arsenal, literally. And Isagi's variant was a little bit different. He didn't trap the ball like Nagi did first. In fact, the mechanism of this whole kick is a little bit different. If you look at how Isagi ends the move, this was actually a scissor kick. Instead of trapping it to flick the ball over the air, Isagi simply swung his foot over the ball. And as his left foot was coming back round and the ball was passing through, he does a scissor motion to kick the ball with his right. And if you look closely, his hips are twisted sideways as he hits it. Now in real life, this goal will be so hard to recreate. You'd literally need the perfect scenario, the perfect weight on the ball. Without the right type of pass, there's no way to recreate this goal. And so I presume in the future, if we see an ambidextrous direct from Isagi again, it most likely wouldn't look the same, which is what makes this shot so incredible. Nagi, Isagi just stole your chain. How do you respond? And speaking of Nagi, it looks like my theory of Isagi and Nagi both scoring hat-tricks in their respective games is coming together. That's one down for Isagi. And it's looking good because there's no way Isagi is not scoring the final goal. It just means the next goal for BM is the all-important one. Kaiser needs to buck up his ideas because everything that he's doing so far, man, has been trash. I think it might be time to open up the Kaiser might be a fraud account. Because right now, Kaiser's letting down the new Gen 11s and being completely showed up by Isagi. Kunigami's dialogue suggests that he might not pass to Isagi again in this match, which would be a shame. But then again, on the other hand, it looks like he might be reawakening his old ego. And if he does, that just adds to BM's threat. Because we might finally see the return of the long range knockable. Man, this chapter for me was a 10 out of 10. I loved the last chapter and this one was even better. Even though it fell short because of all the double spreads we got. Bro, this chapter sparked my excitement for this match once again. I can't wait to see what happens next. And I can't wait to see how Rin responds. No doubt it needs to be something incredible to top this one. Kaiser 2. The next chapter is called Combine and Invent. A new weapon. And I'm guessing this might be a dialogue heavy chapter explaining the mechanisms behind this goal here. I'm really curious to see what Ness's reaction is. Because as we know, Ness is someone that looks for magic in football. And you can't get any more magical than this, Ness. Surely you can see that. Anyways, I'm really curious to see what you guys actually think. I want to know your thoughts. Are you happy with this? Is this what you expected? But I won't be having anyone saying this is an arsehole. Isagi trains like hell and has been since the beginning of Neo Egoist League. It's only natural that you'll see a huge improvement in his physical play at this point. For me, he's earned it, but I'd like to know what you guys think. Before you leave, make sure you drop a like, comment down below, and if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. God bless.